Peruvian chicken with a bean salad. So we have two chickens, about three and a half pounds each, sitting in a bag waiting to go. We're making the marinade that we're gonna dump onto the chicken and smoosh it around. So I'm at about eight cloves now. I think we're good on the garlic. And then we're gonna add about a quarter cup of soy sauce. One, two, three, four. Great. This is agi amarillo, and this is the the yellow hot pepper paste. Couple tablespoons of that. And if you cannot find this, guess what you can use? Any pepper sauce, okay? This is a chili paste from, if you look at the label, see how that's a dried red chili? And they just paste it. This is stronger. So if you're substituting, use a tablespoon of harissa or a tablespoon of chipotle paste. Um, then we're gonna do a tablespoon each of mustard, brown or Dijon. About a tablespoon of Worcestershire. Like three, I count to three when I shake it because it's about a teaspoon each time I shake it. And about a tablespoon or a scant palmful each of cumin. Pimentone or smoked sweet paprika or regular paprika if you don't have that. That's faintly smoky too, so ground peppers, and oregano. Now we're gonna pat this off, and when we roast it tomorrow at high temp, we're gonna just spray it with a little non-aerosol cooking spray. We're gonna pat it dry first though. So if you wanna add black pepper or a little salt, don't do that until the next day, because the marinade has more than enough salt, of course, with our soy sauce in there. So into the 450 oven it goes, and we're gonna cook this until the meat at the thickest part of the white meat and the center of the dark meat is 160 to 165. Two limes or one large lemon, a couple of cloves of crushed garlic, and 12 seeded stemmed ahi, or four of your uh, jalapeno peppers, also seeded and stemmed. A good fat tablespoon of that ahi paste. You can use a squirt of light agave or a light in color, therefore light in flavor honey. Just a squirt. A little bit of olive oil, a cup, a whole bunch of parsley, a whole bunch of cilantro, and a little bit, a couple tablespoons of fresh oregano, or you could use two teaspoons of dried. We add a little bit of cumin, like half a palmful, teaspoon and a half to two, who's counting? A little pinch of salt, over the shoulder for luck, and then put this all together and make it smooth. And then what I do is just take the top out and add enough olive oil until it starts to come together. So four ahi, or one jalapeno, seed them and slice them like this so we can finely chop them. Seed a couple of tomatoes. You need two limes and a half to a whole red onion, depending on how much you love onion, and a handful each, look. And a handful each of cilantro and parsley. And we're gonna throw that in a bowl and look what I did. I took avocados and I scored them. Come on out of here. I scored them and we're just gonna scoop. They're already scored. So they're already chopped up for the salad. We just break them up a little bit once you scoop them. I cooked the butter or canary beans. These are proper Peruvian beans. I soaked them overnight, cooked them in boiling water with salt, a half onion and a bay leaf. Or you can buy 28 ounces of pinto beans or white beans. Okay, there's our shellacked brown that we're looking for. There's all of our chicken breasts. And then we'll fill in our dark meat around. Take that pan dripping and do that spill. Woo -hoo! Come on. We have the bean salad with avocado, tomato. We have the green sauce that we passed with the chicken.